In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, enable Dynamics 365 customer service free trial. So in order to enable the trial, what you need to do is uh, you need to navigate to this URL. Uh, at the time of recording, this URL is correct. Uh, it's dynamics.microsoft.com, E-N-E-U, uh, Dynamics 365 free trial. Now, depending on your country, this might change, okay? But try out uh, finding Dynamics 365 free trial uh, and try to navigate to that URL, okay? As I'm in Australia location, it's e, &E for me. Now, once you are in this page, uh, <clears throat> you can navigate to various services, uh, sales, uh, marketing, all those different SKUs. But for me, I'm interested in customer service, so I'll go to navigate to service, okay? Now, within service, there are multiple uh, applications. So there's customer service, there's a field service, uh, and that is like a project service as well. Uh, we are just interested in uh, Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, if I click on try for free, it will ask me to set up an uh, email. Now, this email, two conditions. One is this email should be a work or a school account. Uh, which is like a Microsoft, which should have the Microsoft 365 presence within uh, that specific domain. Uh, and also, uh, this particular uh, email address should not be used to provision this tenant uh, uh, again. You know, now if you have already subscribed to this trial, uh, say in the last 30 days, then probably you may not get uh, a chance to uh, subscribe to. Dynamics 365 customer service trial. So, uh, what you need to do again is you need to put your email address and then you click on the sign box and then you say start your free trial. Now, <clears throat> let's see what happens once it signs up. Now, the system has detected that uh, I already have Dynamics 365 customer service trial enabled within my environment. Uh, and then it will uh, take me to the application which I have already uh, installed. Okay, so now it has directed me to the sales trial, you know. Now, I already have a uh, different application installed within my tenant. And that's why it is uh, navigating me to the the dynamics 365 instance okay now quite possible in your environment you may not have set up this okay uh, if you have not set up then it will ask for some information and then once that information is put in uh, it will start provisioning the customer service application now uh, this customer service application might take a while to install uh, and once it is fully installed you will see some uh, some applications uh, within your environment it's with regards to customer service now one is customer service admin customer service hub customer service workspace okay now there are other application also called as omni channel which is uh, which you will find once you enable the omni channel experience for the customer service uh, now these are like integrated part of uh, customer service application uh, and I'm going to go through in depth uh, about what this application does in my upcoming videos. So that's it, folks. This is how you uh, simply uh, uh, register for Dynamics 365 customer service trial. Uh, try it for 30 days uh, and see how it goes. Uh, and if you are uh, interested in pursuing this for your organization, then you can subscribe for uh, the the full version, the production version of customer service. Thank you.